So I've always been quite bad at saving money and just kind of, you know, it's funny because in some sense, I'd say I do have quite good impulse control, but one place in which I'd say I don't have very good impulse control is with spending money. And I find I'm constantly um, tempted to spend money on stuff that I perceive as sort of not very worthy. You know, stuff like, I don't know, eating, eating out, like buying food when I'm out, uh, buying coffees, you know, just all these sort of little purchases here and there um, that really add up. And I've had a lot of thought about this and kind of what to do about it. And I've decided that it's not something I should necessarily fix. I, because well, first of all, like, one way or another, you're gonna spend money, right? You're gonna spend money on something. You can't really avoid that. If, even if you're saving money, you're saving money for something, you know? Um, so the question, you know, if you're not spending money on coffee, you probably might spend it on clothes or whatever it is, you know? Um, so the question isn't so much like, oh, how do I save money? But more like, how do I spend money on the stuff that it's supposed to be spent on, right? Because you've got to spend money on something, right? Otherwise, th there's no point in having it, you know? Now, now you might not want to save it, to spend it today. You know, you might want to save it till way off in the future. But the question is really like, what, what can you spend productively, right? That's really how I've turned the question around. And so I've just written a list on my phone of just stuff that I need to get if I want to grow this YouTube channel, um, grow my online business, uh, grow, you know, grow my other YouTube channel, all these kind of projects, just and just ways to improve my life, like all these things. So for the YouTube channel, it's like getting coaching, um, buying equipment, you know, um, traveling for the other YouTube channel that I have, um, you know, spending money on Google ads, stuff like that. Um, and basically, I've just taken this kind of impulse, like bad impulse control I have about money at, from one thing, and I just spend it on that instead, you know. And so I've just turned my kind of excessive spending habit from something that's spending in, in a bad way, something that's spending in a good way, you know, and just kind of throwing money at something. And there are, there's a lot that's wrong with this, you know, because I do, I am very bold with how much I spend. I'm very reckless in some, some regards. Um, and some of that's good, some of that's bad, you know. Basically, I've just had a realization that the brain, when the brain needs to, it will save, you know. And if I have to spend money on something that means the last week before payday, I have like a hundred pounds in the bank, then fuck it, you know, I'll just, survive I'll just find some way to like not spend more than 100 pounds because I don't have a choice right uh, you know and there's a lot wrong with this you know I should have more of a budget to save and stuff like that um, but in principle it's a good strategy and it's just got me really far um, so I just think yeah I do think if like if you're stuck with something like if you want to improve it just start like <laughs> honestly like just start throwing money at it basically um, I think there are two ways really to um, to improve something radically in your life you know like if you've had that project that you never really gotten off the ground you really want to or there's something in your head that you, you want to start but you just haven't there are two, two ways to to do this either one is just mindlessly do it without planning it very well or just mindlessly spend it spend it without planning very well basically um, that's kind of the two ways that I've started everything. You know, this, this YouTube channel, I started it very mindlessly. Um, and similarly, similarly, the investments I put into YouTube, they've just been like, I've, this is better than spending it on anything else. Let's just give it a try. So, yeah, um, that's kind of my approach. And, you know, a lot of people my age, they want to put money into, they want to build up to buy, get like a mortgage or, or you know, um, yeah, that's basically it, right? Like a mortgage or something like that. And um, I think that's great. But I think at this age, it's better to put money into the means of earning a lot of money rather than the money itself, you know? And like, I'm not saying I'm gonna make 
millions and millions of this YouTube business, but ultimately I think it's much more important that I find a way of generating income that's really solid, but then is actually good than like in 20 years time, I have enough money to buy a house so that I can live somewhere and work a job that I hate. You know, that's kind of how I see it. So um, yeah, that's really my approach to spending and investing. And it's worked so far, you know, I'm surviving and paying my rent, stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I really recommend you guys do the same. But um, if you wanna hear more about this kind of stuff, you wanna get involved with me more personally, um, you click on the top link in the description. I am taking on some people for one-on-one -on -one coaching. So you can just book a free call with me um, and I can just see if you're a good fit for the kind of stuff I offer, you know, self-improvement, accountability. Um, stuff like that and um, yeah I'll see you in the next one